tonight's fight stats. Carlos Cardenas entering the pro ranks at a, a different end of the spectrum at 31 years of age. At just five foot nine, 224 pounds. He'll have a big physical disadvantage here tonight as he looks to score the upset over Federico Pacheco Jr. But we are ready. Uh, we might have to take a look at that cut. That is a hideous gash that Pacheco is dealing with right now. I'm not sure if it was a punch or a headbutt. I think we just saw the referee indicate that it was a headbutt. Satisfactory to the officials, and we're back to action. Well, I like how Pacheco's reacting to the cut. He's not letting them bother him. He's just right back to business, throwing shots, walking his man down. And so a hybrid uppercut there from Pacheco. Half hook, half uppercut, rock the head back of Carlos Cardenas. Different kind of intensity from Pacheco right now. Pacheco, yep, that's a good left hook to the body. He's setting it up. Nice, nice there we go. from Pacheco. Big body and shot. Cardenas just crumbles to the mat. And Cardenas does get up. It's enough time for Pacheco to finish him. He's got 16 seconds to work with right now. Cardenas showing lots of bravery getting off the canvas go right after back a that nasty body. body shot. Go right back and touch that body. There you go. Two of them and down goes Cardenas in a heap in Pacheco's corner and that is it. Pacheco tasted his own blood and gave he did not like it. It's, a, it's, a, it's hard to defend that shot for the opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Daniel Duarte calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes at 58 seconds of round number three. Your winner by TKO, he's still undefeated, Federico Pacheco Jr. Welcome back inside the legendary Municipal Auditorium here in Tijuana, where we still have four fights to come. And up next is a featherweight battle as the interim WBC champion, Sabrina Perez, puts her title on the line against the unbeaten Sky Nicholson. I'd like her to follow up with a straight left. And I think it's a matter of time when she'll do it. Left hand to the body, a couple there of right hooks connect there from Nicholson. She promised a more aggressive, in her words, spiteful performance. We're seeing a little bit more of an edge from Nicholson right now as she rips a nice right hand to the body. Sabrina's throwing shots, but it's like... Oh, nice right hand there from Perez. You see a smile on the face of Sky Nicholson. Maybe the feet got tangled there, but certainly yeah, a, a confidence boost for Perez. Like, it seemed like a balance shot. She was a little off balance. Now Nicholson trying to get it right back. Nice left Stop. hand to the body as Perez stuck on the ropes in the closing seconds of that round. Essentially. Sabrina Perez right now is either going to need a, a parade of knockdowns or a knockout if she wants to leave Tijuana with her interim title. That's what I want to see. Combination. Apply pressure. Perez just shelling up right now as Nicholson putting her punches together. Many of those breaking through. Sky should get right back on her. Seconds left to work with here in the ninth round. Good shot. And Perez is certainly looking like she is wilting. Just two minutes remaining in this contest. Right now, the final 10 seconds of this contest. As Sky Nicholson thoroughly dominant here tonight against Sabrina Perez, a former full world champion, a current interim titleist, a longtime stalwart, and Sky Nicholson was just a cut above here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing here in Tijuana, we go to the judges' score totals. Benjamin Rendon, 99 to 91. Ray Perez, 98 to 92. Chris Tellez, 97 to 93. All three for your winner by unanimous decision and the new WBC interim 
featherweight champion, Sky Nicholson. So Sky Nicholson victorious, improving to 8 0. As you just heard, uh, David Diamante obviously keeping the Perez family in the forefront right now. But coming up next, it is the local prospect, Kevin Crespo, as he takes on another difficult assignment when he comes up against the fellow Mexican, Kiki Olivo. Olivo back downstairs with a right hand to the body. You see the mouth of Kevin Crespo starting to open a little bit. Wow. A big uppercut rocks the head back to Crespo. Crespo is hurt here in the seventh round. He's badly hurt. The body language of Crespo has been changing for several rounds now as he shakes his head, trying to shake this one off. <laughs> Round nine now underway, two to go in this 10 round featherweight contest between Christian Olivo and Kevin Crespo. A lot of swings and momentum throughout this fight. The bigger picture is that essentially the early rounds were controlled by Crespo, the later rounds mainly by Olivo, but still moments for both fighters in all of those rounds, even the ones that won by the dominant. Yes, it's a close fight. These last two rounds are going to make a big difference. And we're seeing it right here. Crespo now backing Olivo up. So, you know, Crespo's body language is showing him that he's exhausted, he's tired, and Olivo should take advantage of that. Has Christian Olivo done enough to silence the Tijuana crowd here tonight? A terrific fight between Crespo and Olivo. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here in Tijuana, Mexico, we go to the judges' score totals, and they read as follows. Ippolito Perez and Francisco Pacheco both scored about 97 to 93. Manuel Morales, 96 to 94. All three for your winner by unanimous decision, Christian Kiki Olivo. Melissa Odessa gets a massive opportunity here tonight against Mexico's Erica Cruz in the Super Bantamweight Clash featuring the former world champion, Erica. I think we saw some blood on the, on the hairline of Erica Cruz as well, maybe from a, a clash of heads earlier in the contest. Another left hand over the top right on that cut that Odessa's gonna have to deal with for the rest of this fight. She is pouring blood from the hairline, but it has not stopped her, nor is it stopping Melissa Odessa, who just rocked Cruz back with a nice left hand. Yeah, Melissa landed a good shot to back up Cruz. That is a ghastly cut that is just cascading down the face of Erica Cruz right now. blood on the face of Melissa Odessa. Is it her own? Is it some of Erica Cruz's? A violent cocktail in there right now. 20 seconds remaining in this fight. Nice hook by Melissa. That's the counter shot that Bobby Benton was asking for. She's looking for it again. She's looking for that hook. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of action here in Tijuana, Mexico, we go to the judges' score totals, and they read as follows. Ippolito Perez and Manuel Morales both scored about 99 to 91. 
Francisco Pacheco scored about 98 to 92. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And the new WBA Continental America Super Bantamweight Champion, Erica Dinamita Cruz. So our main event is upon us on Hal Fierro back in action and back in front of his home crowd for the first time since 2019 as he takes on the tricky southpaw Brian Zamaripa. Fierro burst onto the lightweight scene back in 2021 with a thriller on the road in Puerto Rico and since then he's developed into a top contender in the 135 pound division and is hoping that another win tonight will lead to a shot against the world's lightweight champion. Yeah, he's gonna hit whatever, he, whatever you give him, he's going for it. Nice body shot there for Fierro. Maripa comes over the top for the right hook. Inside the final minute of an action-packed round two, things starting to heat up. It's starting to look like the kind of fight that Fierro wants. It is warmed up. <laughs> we are taking some shots from Zamaripa in order to get to the inside. Oh, a shot from Fierro. You heard that one. Zamaripa trying to punch with him. Fierro landed the heavier shot. You know, it's, it's interesting to me. Is Zamaripa wearing a cup? That's the smallest cup I've seen. It's like, you know, when I'm Fierro, I'm attacking the body. Round seven, now that underway. A, that was a good body shot by Zambaripa. It certainly was, Fiero. and Fierro is backing Fiero. up. That was Fiero a big body is shot. is in trouble right now. That was Zambaripa. a big body shot. Nailed Fierro with a big shot at the end of round six, and now has Fierro in serious trouble and wobble to begin round seven. Wow. Can Samaripa score a stunning upset here on the road to Tijuana in Fierro's hometown? Samaripa needs to go right back to the body. Yep, that's the shot. That's the shot. It's not like a headshot. The body shots stay with you for, for the entire fight. Well, and he's coming for the big, big right hand. Fierro finding the resolve big, somewhere. Big left uppercut. Now Zamaripa. Man. Looking a little bit out of sorts as he tried to turn the corner there. The blood still pouring down the face of Zamaripa. Nice shot by Fierro. I like the way he's rolling and he's coming back up with that left uppercut. Now nice it's Fierro, who looks confident. Now it's Zamaripa, who looks a little bit out of sorts. What a comeback from Fierro. What a round. Both men digging down deep here in our main event. They promised a war, and we are getting one. And on Hell Fierro as Fierro tries to hype himself up, but you heard him in the corner. That is a man in agony right now, Gabe. And Brian Zamaripa, they're smiling, they're laughing in the corner right now. They think that they're on the verge of a life-changing upset here in Tijuana. And you see it in Fiddle's face. He's coming strong. He knows he has to win this round. What a big right hand oh. from Fierro! Big overhand right! Fierro looking for a man. miracle! For Fierro to work with. Does he have enough left in the tank? Man. On how Fierro has got that dog in him, Gabe. Man, he had this look in his face when the round started. 
like he was going for broke. And that's exactly what he's doing. Zamaripa trying to go back downstairs to the body, trying to find his footing. Final 10 seconds. A big left hand from Zamaripa, and you know they're gonna slug it out. Zamaripa says, come on. What a fight. What a fight. Damas y caballeros, aplauso por favor para las dos guerreros. Después de 12 asaltos, vámonos a la decisión de los jueces. Daniel Sandoval, 96, 94, Fierro. Alberto Martinez, 96, 94, Zamarripa. And Hippolito Perez scores this bout 96, 95 for your winner by split decision. And still, the WBO and ABO lightweight champion, Angel Tashido. <laughs>